Arctic and Harsh Stoke, yeah, they kill it. Dude. I like watching, just watching them jam in the garage is better than all the shows. One time we had, they had two drum sets and two people were playing drums. 30 minute jam session, I was just sitting there just like mind bottled. It was mind bending. I don't know. I don't think I like that one. Running a family business will run you into tons of walls. And maybe, yeah, you gotta sacrifice some stuff. I don't know, we wanna develop our business and like, it comes with a cost and a toll, just like a lot of things in life. Turn no, guys, it's part of, partly my choice too. <laughs> partly. <laughs> a small part. He's a savage farm boy. He doesn't feel pain, he's out of his mind. He has too much pop for his own good. His morning switch flip is higher than your highest ollie. The most, Burnett, because he just expects you to nose grind a 40 Sarah, and if you don't, he's over you. No, I'm just kidding. I love Burnett. No, I don't know, I'm down to do whatever. I suck though at fucking landing shit consistently, so I'm just like, fuck. We don't actually live there yet. We are soon to be moving there. The building we're gonna move into is a schoolhouse. So it might have some other style ghosts in it than the church. Pretty much the same thing. When I first started skating and I, and I seen these guys doing ollies, I didn't know how it was done and I seen them and I could hear the sound and I could see the motion, but I didn't know how it was done. So it was like, I kept watching, then I had to try to learn it and then I met other skaters and then they were, we were all sharing information on how to do tricks. Like, oh, put your foot here. And like, oh, this guy has a street ramp down the street in, in some other town. So we'd, you know, we'd all congregate. And if you had a friend who had a video, you were lucky. And then that probably got passed around through the whole neighborhood. But for the most part, you had to learn from each other, teaching each other moves and stuff. Well, Spacey was an addition. On trips and stuff, they kind of like, we all got nicknames for each other, and sometimes it's like, when you yell someone's name, it sounds like something else. And eventually they are just calling me like, Kevin and Devin and Eleven and all this random stuff. And then Sean Rogers used to be the team manager of DC, and his mom came over, and he was introducing me at the door, and there was actually a lot of people around at the moment. He was like, hey, this is Evan, and his mom was like, Kevin, nice to meet you, and everyone died. And then it stuck from that moment on. Kayla's calls me Kevin, and all these guys I look up to don't even call me by my real name. <laughs> it's really cool. He was living in downtown and like he's riding for some beanie company or something and they sent him literally like a thousand beanies. Like each color it was like 20 pack blue, 20 pack red. There's like hundreds of bums that live in downtown LA. I think it was him or somebody else was fucking just tossing the beanies out to all these bums. Like lamest color beanies. Like so for a while there was just bums in downtown with just like neon pink white Neapolitan beanies and shit running around. It was hilarious. Beanies falling out of the sky. It was funny. No, we, you kind of got accustomed to it. Like I was pretty free-spirited too, so I was kind of like, it didn't really bother me. Sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, he's a tweaker, you know? Being around him so much, you just got, you know, we just took this, oh, that's Ed, you know? But it was like, that was the genius part of it. Super smart, really into all this like, weird stuff that normal people wasn't into. Food culture and like politics and just random stuff, you know? We'd be on tour and he'd tell us stories about the food industry. And we were just like, you know, still eating like candy. Just like, so what? The, the part that got me that I was super stoked on was I would wake up to like Public Enemy blast at eight in the morning. I think I might have a deviated septum. 